Hello, my name is Penny and this is Penny's Art Emporium and today I have got this lovely 40 centimetre by 30 centimetre canvas and I have in my mind that I want to do a real water rapids type of painting in a Dutch pour. I would like to have a split coloured base so this lovely deco art extreme sheen deep sapphire at the bottom and going up at the edges and then I would like to have these rainbow colours amongst the water and I just thought that if it kind of splashed up to one side and to the other side maybe split the rainbow colours um, and then have a white uh, colour at the top I just thought that that might be really fun to do and uh, I'm quite excited to see how that all turns out. So I will get started, I'll put my base down and we'll see how that goes. So I'm just about to put my base down. I have put my pins in the bottom and I have put my spirit level on just to make sure that it is nice and central so it won't tilt and take you away. I've got my two colours here, my deep sapphire and my titanium white mixed with deluxe satin wood and Floetrol water and this one is just with Floetrol and water. So I want the line, I think, to go a bit like that. Um, this blue does feel a little bit thick, um, but I think it'll be all right. So this is my nice area at the bottom here. I will take it over the edges because I like my edges to be really neat when I first put my base down. Just blow this around with my hair dryer a little bit. bit thick this for my base but I don't think it matters too much because the white will not be as thick as this. Um, I find the Deco Art Extreme Sheen colours do tend to be a little bit thick even when you water them down. <laughs> If I do my edges now, they are already nice and smooth. Whereas I find if I wait until after I've done the painting, um, they can be a little bit lumpy and bumpy. I like them to look like an iced cake. There, so that is that blue. So you can see the idea. Okay. 
So I don't want the line to be symmetrical. I want it to be so that it goes up higher one side than the other. So that is the blue. And I'm now going to put my white down. Again, going right over the edge. And I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap in the middle here. I can fill that in after I've got my colours down. This nozzle does feel a little bit locked. <laughs> I dare say there is probably a bit of a lump in there somewhere. Don't want to squeeze it too hard <laughs> or the whole lid might fly off. But it's okay because I have got another one just here. Yeah, that's a lot better. <laughs> So I'm going to blow that about with my hair dryer a little bit. quite a bit of colour that goes on this bit. idea. I am now going to just do these white edges by just picking up any white paint that's come off of the side and taking it back over and allowing it to run down again. has got that all down. I will put a torch on it just to make sure there's no little air bubbles in there. turn this off and get all my colours and everything ready to put on. Right, so I've got all my colours ready now, which is quite exciting. Um, I have got a couple of colours that are nice and kind of water-like that I just want to do kind of around this edge a little bit. simply because I quite like them, really. Um, that was a, I um, can't remember what that was. This one's, this one's mint. 
Frosted Mint by a teaser. The other one is, oh dear, it's one I use all the time and I can't remember it. It'll come to me. So I thought I'd just put those two round first because I want to break up a lot of the blue. And then I've got these rainbow colours. I've got eight all together. So I want the kind of breakup point to be around here. So I'm just going to kind of dot them on really. That is the yellow green by Liquitex. This one is by Deco Art. This is Liquitex fluorescent orange, that one. Uh, this one is Deco Art Extreme Sheen Ruby. So I am just going to dot them on really. Uh, then this one is Pabio Blue Green. This one is Deco Art Sapphire. Love that colour. This one is Neon Purple. And then this one is Pink Tourmaline by Deco Art Extreme Sheen. And just for a bit of fun, because I've got that fluorescent pink, I thought I'd have this, um, thought I'd have this fluorescent pink, so I've got that fluorescent orange, just for the fun of it, really. So those are my colours, and I did think that I would like to kind of dot in a bit of gold here and there, because I like gold, basically. is what I thought. Um, I might put, see I've got a lot of that, um, <laughs> this one, I can't remember what that's called, it begins with T, <laughs> and it's deco art. Uh, so I might just put a bit more of this frosted mint around here, because I like the frosted mint. Um, this titanium but I don't think that is what it's called and then I have also got some Payne's grey mixed with deep sapphire so I might just put some of that kind of along the bottom it's a little bit darker than just the deep sapphire And then I'm also going to put this deep sapphire along this top edge. And I'm going to put some white along this bottom edge. This is the one where the nozzle isn't playing very well. So put some white along all that bottom edge as well. And then I'm going to put lots of white along here because I am going to blow these colours over. And now we're going to see what happens. I'm going to take my nozzle off of my hairdryer because I find just recently I've got on better like that. Maybe I'll take some bubbles out. So, <laughs> let's see what happens.
right. That has to settle for a little while. I will put the torch on. And I can definitely see that I want to, with my straw, just blow this white down a little bit, which I will do straight away. then I will just need to just shape the edges a little bit and decide where to go really. Just make it a bit more dramatic to go over that edge. So you can see the colours all coming out that little bit now. And I can also blow some things the other way. can help to make it look a little bit dramatic. There's a lot of paint there. But I want to remember the way that I want it to look. So because I want it to come that way, I want to be careful about how I make the angles. And then this I want to come right up here and you can already see this is starting to look nice and dramatic and these colours as well and I do want it to come up this way so I, I will bring this a little bit more up. got to be careful not to make the colours too muddy by mixing the yellow with some of the other colours. Particularly the blue actually. But it is looking nice, it is looking how I wanted it to look. don't know about that little bit in the middle. That could come down a bit this and I could even break up that blue just slightly but I do like the blue so I'm not going to do that just yet 
because I do like the blue. If anything, I might want to blow the blue in some of the other colour. Yeah, just by that last little bit that I did, that lovely bit of green came out there. Might blow some of this white a little bit more. But it's definitely looking like Rainbow Rapids, which is what I wanted. So I might play with that a little bit more, but at the moment I am thinking that I really like it. So I'm going to leave this to settle for a little while. Um, I'll put some heat on it and we'll see all those little bubbles and see if they come out more. I'll do that now. And then I might have to decide a little bit about the little bit in the middle, whether I want to just break it up very slightly or not. I haven't decided. So I will turn this off and let it settle and then I will bring you back for a close-up. So this painting has had a chance to settle and I've had a chance to kind of think about it for a while. And I think I would like to just add a bit more of this dark um, deep sapphire just through the tops a little bit just to add a little bit of contrast I think there are some areas I feel that it is a little bit kind of muddy so I think that if I add a little bit of the deep sapphire and a little bit of this um, normal sapphire I just think that it will just break it up a little bit I'll do it a little bit at a time and we'll see how it goes I'm just going to blow that with my straw in the direction I want it to go. Just to add again a little bit more drama to it. And then with my stick just to make a little bit more pointy so it's not too rounded where it divides. Yellow is always a really tricky colour to incorporate into anything and if you're not careful it really can make it look muddy when it mixes with the other colours but I really wanted to use it because I do really like it and of course it's a rainbow colour so you know you can't have a rainbow without a bit of yellow but I just felt it needed something else really
just one of my little cats at the door wanting to come in. And I'm not going to let them in <laughs> because they will want to walk over my table in my painting. That is what they like to do. So, hopefully that will be looking a bit better. I just felt that it needed just a little bit more drama. So I will bring you down for a close up and you can see what you think. Here we are. So here is that lovely edge of that white. I find that quite successful, putting the white over the extreme sheen metallic colours. It does give that nice bubbly kind of effect and I do like that. And then these are the pinks, purples, orange, I think a little bit in there blues and then this side is the red orange yellow and a little bit of green and I haven't added any more green although I was tempted to a little bit um, but we shall see there so I hope you enjoyed watching I'll let you see that when that is dry and we'll see how that's looking so bye for now So here is this painting. It's had about a week to dry actually now. I've just been busy and not had a chance to film it. Um, but it has dried really nicely. There's lots of really nice little details in here. Um, I love this little bubbly area, which is really nice, very unusual and effective. And then you've got these lovely soft colourful edges here in all the nice bright colours and then this other half with this lovely dramatic white almost like lightning little vaults there and the orange the red and the yellow and that little bit over the edge and then this last bit that I added towards the end with the deep sapphire and the sapphire in there as well. So very much a kind of watery rainbow rapids type of painting. I will definitely varnish it with a really high gloss. I use the Liquitex high gloss varnish. I think it will really benefit from that because although these are metallic paints, um, they're not quite as shimmery as some of my other paintings. So I will definitely put a really high gloss varnish on there. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.